and welcome to the Bridge Show, where it's another Tuesday and we have some phenomenal news for you today. We are talking about the greatest show on earth and we are going to be visited by the big showman, right? Yeah, absolutely. So let's the show begin. Oh, isn't this fascinating? We are back in our IP-based studio in the basement of our HQ here in Oslo, Norway. And we have some phenomenal news for you. We can't wait to tell anybody. Come on, don't uh, keep us waiting. All right. We have a fantastic guest, which is the internationally renowned superstar of, you know, any kind of broadcast uh, show. We call it the greatest show on the planet, don't we? We do. Absolutely. And uh, we are so pleased to, uh, you know, uh, welcome our mystery guest. But first of all, let's see what all this is about. Hmm, can it be a show that is better, faster and bigger than The Bridge Show? We don't know, but take a look at this video. Everything is about culture. There's no reason for us to put boundaries on our creativity. The role of a broadcaster is to create those moments where we all come together. How can we drive towards the future we want rather than the future that we think is going to happen? This is the largest show in Europe. Get ready. It's a real honor to be here with you in Amsterdam, celebrating three of my 26 favorite letters, I, B, and C. The most important event in the world. Everything is here. Any technology, any equipment, you can find it here. And the tech innovation that we're living in is super, super exciting. It's the best way to connect. Not coming to IBC would harm our business. We have to be here. It's a whole new world of uh, innovations, experience. I don't think there's another opportunity like this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. It's pretty amazing. Let's not uh, wait any longer. We have our fantastic guest here. Mike, are you there? Hi guys, how are you doing? We good are doing great. It's Hi, so Mike. good to have you on the show. Well, thank you for inviting me. Just look at that little video. It looks exciting, doesn't it? Got oh, some fun coming up. It looks very exciting. And uh, we, can't, you know, we can't wait to join you uh, guys in Amsterdam. Uh, because, you know, there is some dates that I believe that people should mark. Uh, and this is in December, right? Absolutely. The 3rd to the 6th of December in Ooh. Amsterdam, right? Normal venue normal place and lots of Christmas cheer I think you know I believe that uh, are you going for a Christmas thematic thing there uh, maybe I think so I, I we were thinking um, should we or shouldn't we but we've had so <laughs> much enthusiasm for that idea um, it would be good fun and if I may I'll tell you a quick story because the first time IBC was ever in Amsterdam was in you know in July 1992 yes but there was a bar in Rembrandt's playing, which was called the Christmas Bar. And if you went in there, every every night was Christmas. You had the hats and the snow and all the kind of music that you'd expect for Christmas. And uh, it was quite busy. It was quite fun. So we have kind of had Christmas in Amsterdam before. So we'll see what happens. That's a very good idea. Maybe we should bring our own, uh, you know, uh, Santa. We could do that, and uh, I mean, anything to get us out of dark Norway. Uh, there's probably <laughs> snow here anyway, so Amsterdam sounds uh, cheery in December for me. Oh, holy mackerel. Yeah, I'm going to tattoo, you know, the dates, uh, 3rd to the 6th uh, of December, basically, to my wrists, so I can actually get inspiration every day looking at that. Wow, this is awesome. Um, so, b before we all deteriorate into, you know, the specifics of uh, what this is going to, to be giving, I, I heard some rumours that you have a new slogan for this one. Oh, well, we, we have uh, a theme every year, but uh, I, I guess the, uh, the official one, if I recall, is, um, is um, 
empowering content everywhere, something like yes. that. Um, so I think it just shows that, you know, as, as the, <laughs> as the industry has moved on to embrace all different kinds of, of, um, of uh, devices and yeah. uh, reception and all that kind of thing, it's, it was, um, it seemed more appropriate. I mean, over the years we've moved Absolutely. away from the, the B in IBC being about um, broadcasting and um, when I when I, I first got involved with IBC, I was actually a consultant and, and we were looking at what to do for the future. Uh, and there were two themes, really, which are still running now. One was um, connectivity, because yeah, that's at the time it, it was just terrestrial broadcasting. Yeah. And then we had satellite and we had cable <laughs> and it moved on and on. And, and now we've got, you know, exciting 5G and yeah. things on, on the horizon. And, and the second was it was clearer that um, clear that. Um, that there were going to be a, a range of screens because yeah. screens would get um, would bigger, be better resolution, and probably be cheap in in price to buy for a consumer. So we decided to be agnostic. And at the time, there were four screens. Uh, there was the broadcast TV screen, which we were we had, um, but there was also a cinema screen, and there was also a computer screen, and there was also a mobile screen, which yes. people found difficult to think we'd ever have any content on at the time. <laughs> but we thought, well, hang on a second, like. Um, if if the show wants to grow and prosper for the future, it has to be more than broadcasting. So yes. now we're about content everywhere, yeah. and we don't even really think about those screens in the same way as we used to. Now it's you can you can consume that 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 content from wherever you are. So that's the reason for the thing. Absolutely, and I you know we broadcast via YouTube, which obviously was not there in '92 either. So you know there there's a plethora of of uh, capabilities. That's for sure. Streaming age. Yep. I think another one uh, was Come Together, uh, which I've seen sort of on the websites and things. And I guess that's a, that's a great theme for December because we're all, you know, we're all dying to get back in some kind of physical uh, space, but coming together and... Uh, that is very true. I think that's one of the things that I'm most excited about is actually, you know, being... Come together. Um, exactly, the Beatles. Right <laughs> now. Oh. <laughs> Oh yeah. yeah, I think I think that as you see that it, it, it kind of evolves to give you a bit of a sneak preview because I think it, it moves through different phases. And oh, yeah. when we get there, I think it will end up being saying stronger together because you know what we've all noticed over the last year, as much as we love doing things like this and Zoom calls and <laughs> and, and all the rest of it, um, you know, business is about people. So we all yes, want to we all want to get together as quickly as we can. Yeah, because, you know, that, that is the true essence of the show, because obviously, you know, the, the, uh, both the head and the tail of the show uh, involves a lot of electronic media and, and you know, we've gone from uh, uh, newspapers to, uh, to, to basically a lot of publicising gone online, but it still is the core meeting other people in the widening aspect of the industry. And, and uh, yeah, that's absolutely why we can't wait to, to meet up with you guys. Yeah, I mean, we, we do lots of research and ask people, and clearly people come to to, to buy kit, and, and they and they and they come to to assess other um, other pieces of of, uh, of of kit and information. They they come for all kinds of reasons, um, but ultimately, I mean, I always think there's a kind of osmosis about it you, you may be doing one thing but you're picking up the atmosphere you know what's going exactly. on yeah and 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 you you come away feeling that you've you're in tune with the industry and exactly and, and the things that you want to do next and some of the things that you might think you wanted to do when you came to the show you might think actually i'll put that on the back burner because this is a much better idea yeah and they're very difficult things to um quantify you know, they're very difficult things to to to, to kind of write down and, and, and explain but actually if we've all sat there with a glass of champagne and had a chat and come away thinking I've learned something there. Exactly. It is a very very good point because that's one of the things I mean you can plan your show and we all have tools that we have the you know the um, the exhibitor zones and all that to uh, to plan your your meetings and which stands you want to visit but uh, I think one of the the nice things is to walk to get your coffee and then see a stand and see that looks interesting something that wasn't on my uh, on my roadmap on my list of things to, to see but then you just pop in and that's the unexpected thing that you can get from a, a live event that you can't get from this digital or everything planned uh Yep. No, but it's very yeah. true, and uh, I, I like the word osmosis because you don't necessarily need to even discuss in detail, you know, the finer elements. You you just get it because you're part of the scene, and that is, you know, an enormously valuable. 
Yeah, um, and I think another thing that's um, that's been emerging a lot over the last couple of years, which we're, we're looking forward to, to doing, is is getting people more involved in the thought leadership side yeah. of it. Yeah. IBC used to be very much, uh, when I first joined anyway, a, 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 a massive product supermarket, you know, and, and mainly engineers almost pushing trolleys around the aisles, you know, selecting these magic black boxes to buy. And, and now a lot of it is is more um, it's more uh, cloud based and, and 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 the kind of philosophy of a company that exactly. you buy into and, and you believe in. So we've created quite a lot of opportunities by building a lot of stages around the show, so that people on the stands um, can come off of the stands and sit in front of an audience and discuss a, a topic exactly. and how their business relates to that. So what we're also be doing is. Um, is broadcasting all of that to the world. We've got a, a hybrid platform. We've got uh, five different stages that will be delivering all kinds of theme content onto a platform. So if you're unfortunate and you're unable to make it in December because of you know travel restrictions or whatever it might be, you'll still be able to take part in, in all of that. No, but that's 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 a great thing, and it's it's all about sharing. So uh, I, I totally get that, and and I, also to mention another thing, because the conference has gained uh, a lot of traction, uh, especially uh, the the last years, uh, and that one actually seen uh, you know a significant uptake on its on its uh, both. It's always been serious, but uh, but uh, these later days, it's become uh, actually quite a mainstay. Yes, it's. Um it it has and um i'll give you a little bit of a an insight here because we're actually going to do something different this year because when we get when we get to to um to december we're, we're not we're not quite sure what um restrictions um might be um in place and so um if you've ever been to the ibc conference there's about five parallel streams and you move around from different parts of the venue and we're thinking, well, you know, and delegates, to be to be really frank, they 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 pay a significant amount of money to have that VIP access to all of that premium content. I seen you, the black card that you uh, distribute to the uh, the, the really uh, VIPs there. Yes, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and and so um, we not we were not sure whether we'd be able to 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 give them that same high level experience or value for money. So. Our solution is to be more democratic, and we're so a lot of the premium content this year, we're going to give it away for free on our platform. So we're not going to charge any delegates um, for any of the content. Um, we're we're just going to say, um, you know, this is a year to try something different. Yeah. Um, so there might be a little bit more sponsorship involved because we have to kind of monetize it somehow, yeah. but we're very strict on those rules. But what it will mean is that we're not really asking delegates to fork up quite a lot of money for an experience that doesn't quite work and a lot of those delegates still may not be able to get there but we still want them to be involved in the show so what we're yeah, going cool. to do is put all of that content onto the live stages in the halls so it's open for everybody to see yeah. and if those stages are too full you can just pick up your device and you can watch exactly. it stream live Yep, I can see that in December people will be sitting in the bars with their Leffe beer and their device, you know, following the uh, the uh, different kind of conferences from uh, your uh, corner bar. Well, they will be able to do that, <laughs> and of course, wherever they might be in, in the world, they of can course. still go to um, to their local bar with their local friends <laughs> and, uh, and and do that if they'd like to. And of course, we'll it'll all be VOD as well. So if, if people want to consume it afterwards, then that will work too. Yep. As I long like as this. you send uh, Simon his little black-plated uh, invitation, <laughs> then he'll be happy. So. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no, I, I think this is great and uh, it's a democratization of a lot of that great content that was uh, primary or prior to this, uh, of course, only for the the the, uh, the VIP ones. So uh, that's that's a good idea, Mike. I, I think that a lot of people will really, really cherish that one. So absolutely. Um, we also, of course, uh, have, uh, it's not only us that is uh, very enthusiastic when it comes to, uh, you know, uh, joining the IBC. 
Uh, when you follow the show, you probably notice that we have a mad musical genius called Axel Costa, our famous uh, uh, virtuoso. And he actually re recorded a, a session for us uh, just to see his appreciation for the enthusiastic. He, it's it's like he can't, uh, his excitement, mm. he can't really stop shaking. So let's cue Axel. Well, he can't uh, keep away either, so uh, I, I guess we'll be seeing him in Amsterdam in December. So, uh, are you a big uh, music fan, Mike? Well, I know you are, of course. Well, yes, uh, I, I do like music. Um, I have to be honest, sport, sport's my big thing. It's <laughs> why I'm why, why wearing my Chelsea shirt here today. Champions League winners on Saturday. Congratulations. And, uh, Go, it's a Chelsea. long family tradition, Chelsea. So, you know, my, my sons and, and everyone, you know, it's been a big weekend for us. I betcha. And uh, congratulations on that. No, but uh, we can't wait. And, and uh, thank you for that update on uh, the latest uh, and greatest news. Uh, the only thing that I guess we'll skip uh, this year is the boat rides. That is uh, probably something we'll, uh, we'll uh, take uh, uh, next uh, September. But apart from that, we just can't wait to, to join you guys in Amsterdam. And, uh, and again, thank you for, uh, you know, arranging this. Uh, it, it's been a, a weird time for event organizers, <laughs> I know. Um, but we will be there. And, and Tim, you secured us a pretty good spot uh, at the IBC show. Yeah, we're looking forward to, uh, yep, re reacquainting ourselves with, uh, yep, our, our, our whole one spot, 230 square metres of it. So uh, looking forward to creating something, uh, something cool and uh, oh, yeah. eye-catching and just looking forward to getting back to Amsterdam and IBC. Our goal... Well, listen, listen, guys, you know, <laughs> thank, you for, uh, thank you for inviting me and, and, and uh, thanks for coming to the show. I can't, can't wait to, uh, to, to see you again. And I, I think you're right about the boats, but um, you might need to bring your ice skates because, <laughs> That's you know... very true. That that might be the quickest a quick way to get to the Rhine. You know, from our hotel to the Rhine on the canals, oh, ice skating. No, what a brilliant idea, Mike. Cigar and ice skates and oh, uh, off we go. That will be the day. No, but uh, thank you much, uh, Mike, for, uh, for joining us and, and taking uh, the time. And uh, again, December will come sooner than we expect. And then we'll, of course, see you in Amsterdam. So uh, thank you for that. You're welcome. See you soon, guys. Thanks, Mike. Bye. And to the other viewers that we have around the planet, globe, etc., we will definitely be in Hall 1. You'll see us. It's right through the entrance, and there we will be. We will make Mike proud on the number one spot in Hall number one. Oh, my God. I wish it was next week now. But, yes, uh... I wish it was next week, but we can't. We are waiting until December, and we are planning to make a hell of a show. That will be the key thing. But uh, thank you for joining me as well, Tim. That was uh, truly appreciated. Uh, until next Tuesday, take care and, of course, hope to see you next Tuesday with more exciting news. We're going then for some internal niceties where we present some deep dive into the product sphere. So it's over and out from our IP studio live here from the basement of our HQ in Oslo, Norway. Take care and have a great week.